This might be the strangest thing I have ever come across. He writes letters. Who are they to? Howard doesn't write letters to people. He writes to things. Time. Love. Death. Kids write letters to Santa Claus. It doesn't mean they're crazy. No, this is therapeutic. It reminded me of a, an It's a Wonderful Life kind of type thing. And I think that it's got that sort of magical element, but you're still very much in a world that we completely recognize. I'm having conversations. Death came first. She met me in the dog park. Charmed, I'm sure. So death is a her. Turns out death is an elderly white woman. I'm time. You wrote me because you need me. Howard? Ask her. Go ahead, ask her if she can see me. I'm love. And I'm the fabric of life. The one thing that you know is you're going to die. Therefore, the one thing that you know is that you're running out of time, or that time is not infinite, time is finite. Um, the one thing human beings want is to love, to feel love, to feel that they are, that they belong, you know. Um, and so if one is taken, then the other two become very frightening. If I'm running out of time and I don't have the person that makes me feel whole, the person that, that I belong to, or I haven't found that, or I've never felt that, am I ever gonna feel that? Love is the reason for everything. I felt you every day when she laughed, and you broke my heart. I was there in her laugh, but I'm also here now in your cave. He's a wonderful actor. I don't, everybody knows he's, and, and yeah, he can do the comedy side, but he's shown time and time and time again that he can do the tragedy side of it as well. And it's something that, I mean, watching him, it's very easy for him to, tap easy, but you know, he, he taps into it seemingly very easily. Um, and I've always found him, you know, I think his, his work is incredibly moving. Um, and, and yes, so, I mean, yeah, you're dealing with a man in, in extreme grief and, and uh, he, he does that very well. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's very, I found what he was doing very moving. Something's starting to happen to you. Howard? I don't know what to do to bring you back. What if love, death, and time are trying to help you? You need to talk to them, Howard. Challenge them. Just engage. It's a lovely bunch of people, a really, really, really lovely bunch of people. And, and I think, you know, I think there's just a lot, there's always a lot of curiosity because normally, like I said, you know, you have a, a film where there are two, um, two leads and then you've got the rest of normally a very wonderful cast, but you've got two leads. So you, and, and this kind of looking around and you've got Will Smith and Helen Mirren and Ed Norton and Kate Winslet, you know, it's sort of, it's an extraordinary thing to be sitting in a scene with, with all of those people and just watching the work, you know, because you, you kind of go, oh, okay, so I now get an opportunity to go, how do you work and how do you come up with the performances that I know so well in the films that I know so well that you've done? And actually the kind of, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a very nice thing to be able to, to watch other people and go, ah, yes, oh, I see. That's a Kate Winslet close up, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just be sure to notice the collateral beauty. It's the profound connection to everything. He accepts that. Maybe he gets to find his life again. If you've uh, experienced tremendous loss, nothing is going to make that better. But I think the point of this is that you put one foot in front of the other, you keep breathing in and out, and one day you can look around and you can feel the sunshine on your face again. And that's collateral beauty.